Yeah, I really liked uh, what I saw from the, really those junior college players that we brought in. Um, Tony Jones made a couple plays where he really flashed with his speed at linebacker. Vontae Dorsey was coming downhill and hitting people. Jalen Lade uh, isn't afraid to stick his nose in there. And Octavius Morgan had a couple plays on bubble screens and things where he got off the block and, and made an open field tackle that was impressive. So we need those guys to keep developing. They provided depth, created competition. And it was good to see them when the lights came on and respond the way they did. Obviously, I guess Octavius has run a lot with the first team. Is uh, What are Tony Jones' chances of starting or getting a lot of playing time? I think really high. He, he's got a great skill set at that position. I mean, he's still learning our system. Um, but as far as chasing the football, being athletic, striking people, he's got all that. So it's just a matter of him continuing to study our stuff through the summer, getting him in fall camp. And, you know, we had Jordan back and Dakota back. And I think. Uh, it provides a pretty deep athletic linebacker core with those pieces. Now that you've seen him in a game type situation, is Nick where you would like for him to be at this point? He is, he is. Um, you know, I thought we started slow as an offense the other day, but he was making the right reads, getting the ball where it should go. We just had some third and shorts we didn't convert. And he's, uh, he's done a good job. He's got to protect the ball. Some of these practices, he's tried to force some things, which he's got a big arm and he tries to, uh, make every throw every now and then, but really pleased with his leadership, his understanding of the system. Uh, he's operated at a high level so far. Just things um, to improve upon from last week. I thought we needed to get better at tackling in the open field as a defense and then offensively eliminate the pre-snap penalties um, and then more effort chasing after the football. When you watch the film, not a lot of guys uh, chasing the ball on offense, and, and so we're going to try to get better at those as we move forward. Will the format be this Saturday? Very similar. Maybe a, a few more open field kind of play it out drives, but there will be a lot of structured uh, set up drives or third and short, third medium, red zone area. Uh, but there will be a few more open field drives where we're playing it out. What's uh, Madison's status now? Sorry. Man. Yeah, he'll be out for the next few months. He's going to have a procedure on his back, and uh, we hope to get him back by the start of summer workouts. So that'll be uh, that'll happen Friday, and um, get him rehab and, and be back for summer workouts. When was that decision made, or what? Uh, when did he have the examination? Where they said that? You uh, a to... few weeks back. Yeah, a few weeks back. We tried some alternative things and uh, didn't respond to it. So we're going to go ahead and have the procedure done and, and get him rehabbing and go from there. How big a concern is that, with particularly the guy his size? And yeah, from what I've been told, they feel great about um, his prospects of coming back within a, a couple months and being fully healthy and being able to play at, at full strength this season. So, pro day on Friday, what do you tell him that? Just have fun. He's had so many workouts. I mean, it's kind of the icing on the cake. He's had a bunch of teams that are interested to come and work him out privately. And so, more of an opportunity just to go out there. He has the script. He gets to dictate the workout now. All these other ones, they've dictated it. So it's his show. Uh, we'll go out there and cut it loose and have fun. I guess with you telling us that about Madison, is that, how much does that help Jack Anderson's chances of being a first team? Yeah, I think he's got a strong, strong opportunity there. He's getting a ton of reps at that position. It's, it's really how quick he can um, develop his pass sets. He, he, you know, all through high school, he's more of a run block type offense and um, learn the system, continue to get better at your pass sets, and he's got a chance to, to be with those ones. In addition to Anderson, did you talk about uh, the other freshman office, offensive line? Yeah, Dawson Deaton, um, for a guy who should still be in high school, he's coming, he's learned guard and center, which is pretty impressive. And, done a good job snapping the football with that second group at times. And then Will Farrar, we put him at right tackle. He may be a guard later on, but he's done a good job stepping up and um, getting some good reps against good players there at right tackle. The other guard, what's your evaluation of the other guards like Bailey Smith and Jacob Pine so far? Yeah, we got a ways to go there. Um, just got to mature, got to get stronger and tougher and um, just better overall. But as far as knowing the system, Bailey's obviously ahead because Jacob just came in. Uh, but I, I think there's definitely an opportunity for either one of those to, to have a shot. Just to get Connor Killian a little bit of time in the scrimmage the other day at that uh, blocking back right. position. What's his potential? Yeah, he's a tough kid, smart kid, knows where to go every time. So we're going to keep running into things and see how he responds. Um, 
but I, I like that he's uh, a very heads up football player. Anytime you throw something new at him, he's not phased, and, and so hopefully uh, he can find a role somewhere. Did he play that in high school or was he a lineman? Uh, he was more of a linebacker type body, and uh, we just converted him. He's still deep snaps for us, and we kind of use him in that blocking back position. And, yeah, is Mason Reed been? Did he, the he did not. He's been banged up as well. Same deal. He has kind of a back. Uh, we hope to have him back hopefully next week.